today my topic is lasers the chapter is lasers the topic the general introduction about lasers light laser the acronym is the light amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation okay laser it is a light okay the interaction between radiation with atoms it occurs because of the the interaction between radiation with atoms gives different processes the first process is absorption second one is spontaneous third one is stimulated three types of process are there so first one let us discuss about the first process it is absorption here there are two energy levels let us assume two energy levels one is e1 and another one is e2 the atoms are at ground state the number of atoms are at ground state by absorbing some energy that is e2 minus e1 is equal to h nu then it goes to the excited state that is called absorption before this is before after this atom reaches to excited state this is e1 so after after absorbing of energy it reaches to excited state this process is called absorption we can represent a plus h nu gives a star that means here a is called atom h nu is called some radiation or energy that means energy in the form of radiation and a star is called excited atom excited atom this is called the, the total process is called absorption next second one is spontaneous we can call it as spontaneous emission spontaneous emission in this spontaneous emission again let us assume two energy levels this e1 and e2 this is atom at the excited state after absorbing some energy at ground state it reaches to excited state after reaching the excited state it comes to ground state this is before this is after it reaches to ground state e1 to e2 after its lifetime after its lifetime uh, which is approximately equals to 10 power minus 8 seconds an excited atom comes to its ground state after its lifetime the lifetime is around 1, 10 power minus 8 seconds meanwhile it comes to the ground state it releases some energy some energy which is incoherent it releases some energy which is in incoherent energy that is a star gives a plus h nu that means an excited atom after its lifetime gives an atom an ordinary atom with some energy the energy should be in the form of light or heat which is incoherent that means the output uh, intensity is very very less in this process
here the output beam is incoherent next the third process is stimulated stimulated emission stimulated emission in stimulated emission when an atom at excited state even this is e2 and an atom at excited state before before condition here this is after this is e1 this is e2 before an atom at excited state it comes to ground state before its lifetime by absorbing some energy that is e2 minus e1 is equal to h nu by absorbing some energy it comes to the ground state meanwhile it reaches it uh, reaches the ground state it releases some energy in the form of light which is coherent coherent and which is called laser here by absorbing some energy in the form of photons it comes to the it returns to the ground state before its its lifetime before its lifetime here in case of spontaneous emission it comes to the ground state after its lifetime in stimulated emission it it returns into ground state before its lifetime and it releases so a radiation in the form of light this is called stimulated emission